Hey, welcome back to Old Iron Acres. Uh, today is about rock and uh, repairing driveways. So I've got about a quarter of a mile of rock driveway. I've got another probably three quarters of a mile, but it's uh, down a little bit further into the property, more like farm roads. Uh, but to get to my house, there's a, quarter, a solid quarter mile. I'm trying to do some repair, but I wish I had every tool out there, but I don't. What I do have is a grapple and a bucket. And I wish I had a box blade. Santa, can I have a box blade? 68 inches, 72, something like that. So from right up here, we go concrete to a cattle gate filled with gravel to asphalt. And then down to the barns, it goes asphalt back to concrete after a 10 foot patch of gravel where at one point they put a water line through. And then it goes back down to asphalt and then way down at the bottom back to rock. Uh, so this point here had big puddles, tire ruts as the tires would turn. So I dug that up, hoping the water would drain, but I want to freshen this to stop the mud. So I went and got some, we call them 57s here in Kentucky. So I'd scraped all of this with the grapple and then I smoothed it with my bucket. Box blade would be amazing, but I'm actually gonna have to come in here, I think with a hand shovel and get this overflow that spilled over back into the road. But so far, I'm pretty happy with it. I got a lot of material moved further down the road. You can't really tell, but this has a real subtle downhill and then it goes back up uh, once it hits this point right here where there's pipe under the road to let water that cools up in this place go down here and heads down towards the spring house. I find it amazing, these bricks down below. There must have been an old brick road under there. They're not yellow bricks. Now I'm going to try to run it over to compact it some with my truck and uh, maybe the tractor. And we'll see how that does. And then I'd like to drop, you know, sprinkle with the bucket a, a layer of rock to uh, have a finish on it. Something a little prettier, less muddy. We'll see how that does. I also have a project, if there's any stone left over, to add to a turnaround up by the house. Currently, we kind of get in the yard and it gets a little muddy. So that's what I'm doing today. So I went and got three ton of rock, twice. The first scoop is right there, and I'm gonna try to make a parking space here. I'd like it wide enough for guests to come over and park cars, turn vehicles around. I also would like to take the rock go up and around the corn crib on the backside. I figured that would make a really great kind of turnaround deal for the property. You might recognize this. This is where a big tree uh, was, a beech tree that we dropped in a short. Glad that thing's gone. Here we go. So I'll spare you some of what happened. I really sprinkled this light everywhere I could. I'm trying to stretch a dollar on my budget. So. This was the start of the day, 
little bit into it, but this was near the finish. I thought I did a pretty good job. The parking space got a lot bigger, and this road was massively improved with the rock. And this was just a pretty picture the next day or so. Hope you all are doing great. If you feel like it, feel free to subscribe and like this. It helps a lot. I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by.